stubbed toe aches. Is it my fault? Yes. Is it the coffee table's fault? The throb- my throbbing big toe is an innocent bystander caught between a careless foot and a clueless coffee table. It's not fair. The coffee table isn't just a table. It is a symbol. Of course. My toe. My aspirations. Wow. Oftentimes I think of myself as invincible. Yes. I never expected this. And have to be knocked down in the safety of my own home. But I should have seen this coming. Betrayal can only come from somewhere close to you. Betrayal? I trusted my coffee table to do one thing. To hold my coffee. Maybe I deserve this. Maybe I For I've used my coffee table for so many other things. Water. In fact, I kind of forgot I had a coffee table. Yeah, who got that? Why do they call it a coffee table anyway? Yeah. What an oddly specific name to give a flat surface. Really holding it back from being the table I wanted to be. So sad. Whatever. Ow. I am lost, spinning endlessly through this open space of pain. Ow. My toe was only the beginning. I add my elbow to it, my ever-growing list of ailments. That's two things. It might be broken. It might not be. But I know what surely is broken. My spirit. But I'm no doctor. Someone once told me that life is like a flower. It needs to be nurtured to flourish. But I don't like bees. They're gross and they make me feel scared. Bees. The image of them landing on my face to pollinate me is a terrifying prospect. Gross. I don't talk to that person anymore. I only talk to myself. Yeah. For copious amounts of time. Like right now. Like right now. I can't trust anyone else. No. Sometimes I wonder if I can even trust myself. Probably not. I'm only human. We are all humans. We all make up the human race. We are all equally capable of being abducted by aliens and studied. But damn it, they don't pick me. I get car sick really easy. Queasy. Cars were invented to speed up travel. But now that everyone has one, we have to sit in traffic. Ironic. Walking is probably faster. We're back where we started. Biking too. Also, screw people with giant trucks that tailgate me in traffic. Eat bees and die. Anyway, I should probably go back to bed. Okay, what the hell? The coffee table wasn't there like two minutes ago. It wasn't. My toe and my elbow still hurt. My existence is a stub toe. Stop. The universe is a coffee table. God. I dreamt so big and did my best, but the universe leaned in real close, whispered into my ear, No. No. And I lie here, wondering what I should eat for breakfast tomorrow. Tasty. We are almost out of milk. There's just enough in the carton that it would be wasteful to throw away. But yet, not enough to fill a bowl with cereal, so it sits on the shelf, unfulfilled, calling to the apple jacks across the kitchen, both longing to be together. But I don't know what it is. I've really been craving Fruit Loops lately. Man, I could go for some of those right now, actually. Alright, seriously, what's going on? Yeah. How is the coffee table over here now? Doesn't make sense. Anyway, where was I? Complaining. I don't even like cereal. Well... I like it. I just get, always get hungry again like an hour later. I need protein. It's about as filling as eating a cloud. Which I totally do, by the way. If I ever were to get the opportunity, would it be eating or drinking? I don't know. Confusing. I have been told that I always have my head in the clouds. Why is that? Why is that an insult anyway? Why is daring to dream synonymous with being a fool? Deep. Also, why are dreams called dreams? I mean, like... Why do we call aspirations dreams? Our dreams are oftentimes either weird, bad, or just plain confusing. Confusing. Why would I strive to achieve my dreams? They're just weird pranks my brain pulls on me at night. Pranks. Like one time, I had a dream. I went to Disneyland, but all the rides were made out of the bones of my favorite Disney characters. Classic. Seriously, what the hell was that dream, brain? 
Okay, real talk. Who's like other these? Only two people live here, and I'm one of those two. Crap, these are my Legos. I really wasn't ready to admit this to the world. Dear Lord, why does it hurt so bad? I'd rather break up with Rachel again than deal with this pain. Sure. But she was horrible. She spilled a wheatgrass smoothie in the backseat of my Eclipse on the first day I had it. Wheatgrass. It wasn't even the stain that bothered me. It was the fact that my car smelled like a petting zoo for months. Petting zoo. Petting zoos are weird. Sure. Just a bunch of animals fenced in, and then people pay to go touch them. Weird, right? Then there's always that one punk kid that has to be overly aggressive with the animals. And you're watching from the sidelines, hoping to God that the animals fight back so you can get some secondhand revenge. Fight back. What if aliens enslave us? Cage us up and then other aliens paid money to come pet us? That'd be weird. In a weird kind of way, I think I'd be okay with it. I would feel appreciated at least. Finally. At least until that aggressive alien kid shows up and starts poking at my eyes. You're getting drop kicked, son. I don't care if they eviscerate me. Oh my god. Oh my god. My coffee table isn't just casually in the way. Oh no. It is actually here to kill me. How did this happen? Why? What have I done? After all we've been through, it comes to this. Wow. Oh. I've been a fool. I see it now. Fool. I've taken you for granted. Great. Ever since I brought home that new table. I'm so sorry. I can see that I've caused you pain. I understand if it's too late. Give me one more chance. I can see it now that I was wrong. What if I can change? We could be together again like the good old days. I promise I'll be the best I can be for you. You are the only table for me. You are my table for life. I the best. I love you. Son of a...